Hi, my name is Clay. I'm so glad you could watch online with us today. Let's go see what our friends at Connect HQ want to show us today. We're gonna dance, we're gonna sing, we're gonna get real loud, let our voices ring, we're gonna party, we're having fun with Jesus Christ, he's God's only son, now everybody, from the front to the back, put your hands in the air, and clap, 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 seeing old friends, making new friends, here with Jesus, we're connected. When it's showtime, it's okay to just sit back and watch. But when it's worship time, everybody gets up to sing. The songs that connect are an excellent way to let God know that He comes first in our life. Nothing can stop us from showing Him that He deserves our best singing and our endless energy. So get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
be ready to put some real weight on that bar. Yeah. You know what? I have improved. And nothing can stand in my way of being the best version of my self. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links. Make the connection. And you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the time the Holy Spirit helped us. Oh, Candy. My old friend. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. No, I said I, was, said I wasn't gonna do this. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not going back. No, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 oh, my kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Uh, what happened here? Uh, Candy. Candy happened. Mike, you cannot let Candy get the best of you again. But it's... I can't help it. It's so strong. And I'm so weak. Mike, I know that junk food is a temptation for you, but you have to let the Holy Spirit living inside of you help you with your self-control and live for Jesus first. I mean, what if a walk-in were to walk in right now? What would they think of Connect HQ? What would they think about the... Hey, hello. I'm Ray, and this is Mike. Hi, I'm Bryson. How can we help you? I had a question, but... Maybe I should come back another time. No, 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 it's cool. Uh, uh. What's your question? I heard you guys talk about the Holy Spirit. People at my church talk about that a lot too. But what is the Holy Spirit? He sounds like some kind of friendly ghost. <laughs> like Casper. Huh? Oh, no. The Holy Spirit. We know a lot about that, don't we, Ray? It fills us with love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and patience. And there's one more. What was that other one? Self-control? Oh yeah, that one. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of a verse that I memorized. It comes from the book of Galatians, chapter five, verse 16. Would you guys like to say it with me? Mm. Sure. Galatians five sixteen. Galatians five sixteen. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Okay. Your sinful nature is the voice inside of you that tells you to do the wrong thing. So, is the Holy Spirit the voice that tells you to do the right thing? <laughs> like Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> no, it's not your conscience. It's more like a special power of God changing the way that you think. Bryson, how about we go find a Bible link? Mike, you find the point link. No matter how hard I try, I just can't beat this. But what if I don't have to? Hmm. Come on, Edison, please! I, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, it's still a prototype, and besides, what you're describing is not its intended purpose. I designed the apparatus for relaxation. You don't understand. I've been trying to fight this temptation and I thought I was making good progress. But then I saw the candy and I was weak. You don't know what that's like. Yes, I do, Mike. Maybe not with junk food, but I have my own struggles against things that keep me from God's plan. Everyone does. Then you know how important this is to me. Come on, please. What if something goes wrong? Please. Mike. I'll have it ready in 10 minutes. You, you can stop doing that now. I can't, I'm stuck. Okay. All right, let's try this. Pretend you're this apple, Bryson. Okay. So the outer part of the apple, that's your body. That's your arms, your legs, your head, your brain, your body as a whole. You still with me? Yeah, I have a body. <laughs> okay, so at the core of the apple, there's something really special. It's a part of the apple, yet it's very different from the rest of it. The seeds. <laughs> right, and that would be your spirit. That's the part of you that's the real you. Not only do you have a spirit, you are a spirit. Do you understand? I think so. God is a spirit too. We call him the Holy Spirit. So if you've decided to make Jesus the center of your life, then your spirit becomes filled with God's spirit. You lost me. What does that even look like? <laughs> well, instead of me trying to explain it, let's look at this Bible story where it shows where it actually happens. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. Searching God's word for things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive See the wonderful stories inside Every day I'm searching Read through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book
book is alive. The time has come. I'm going to leave and go back to my father. I'm going to prepare a place for you. Later I'll come back and get you so you'll always be with me. I'll ask God to send you a comforter, an advisor, a source of power, the very spirit of God to live inside your hearts. Not just God here with you, God in you. Not everyone will have God's Holy Spirit inside them because not everyone will choose to follow me. Only those who show they belong to God by doing what he says. That very night, Jesus was arrested and sent to die on the cross even though he had never done anything wrong. Jesus took the punishment for our sins. He defeated death and came back to life three days later. He appeared to many of his followers. He gave them final instruction to tell the whole world the good news about Jesus. Then he returned to heaven right before their eyes. But that wasn't the end. Just like Jesus promised, God was preparing to send his Holy Spirit. Jesus told us not to leave town until the Holy Spirit comes, but it's been 50 days since the cross. I wonder when this Holy Spirit he promised will come. How will we know? Let's pray together until we hear from God. This must be it. I feel God's power inside me. We're all filled with God's Holy Spirit. There's a whole crowd outside. Let's go tell them the good news about Jesus. He's given us power to speak in different languages so everyone in the city can understand. The Holy Spirit is giving us the power to be able to do whatever God asks us to do. I feel so bold and courageous. I'm going to go preach to that whole crowd. And that was just the beginning of the mystery and power of the Holy Spirit living and working in Jesus' followers. His power is still living in you and me, yesterday, today, and forever. Okay, I think I know what, I mean, who the Holy Spirit is, but what does the Holy Spirit do? Hey guys, hey, oh. hey guys. Um, check out my new sensory deprivation mask. Uh, Edison invented it. It's for relaxation, but I'm putting